Hi, welcome back to another quick tutorial. Um, today we're in After Effects, and I'm just going to show you a quick little trick on how to make a rotating globe in After Effects. Um, so I'm going to bring in just a PNG of the globe and uh, fit my view. I'm going to scale this down. So what we have here is a flat perspective, and you can find this anywhere on Google. Of the um, of the planet, all of our continents. So over here in your effects and presets, you're just going to go to type in sphere, and you're going to see CC sphere. Click, drag that on, and boom! You've already got yourself a uh, a sphere. Scale this up, all right, and there you go. Now, I should set this to 100. Obviously, you can notice there's some kind of interesting light going on here. So to make that a little more obvious, I'm going to make a solid background. Just go with just a black background right now. So it kind of has this sun angle, and it's lighting some of the inside and the outside. So in order to adjust that, just go to light, and we're going to want to adjust the line height. So that's going to kind of more evenly fill your whole globe. All right, that's looking pretty good. There's still this kind of... Um, ambient shading going on on the outside which you can change to something a little more full like a hundred you can change the color overall to something a little more of a tint but this is being impacted however by the ambience so you're gonna have to kind of play with that um, you can play with how diffuse that light is how far out from the center point basically your um, your light is so if it's at zero it's just there's gonna be no light coming out from the center um, so we want to be at 100 there. Specular is a term that you're going to hear a lot with materials in 3D, but this isn't really going to apply much for this layer. Um, it's just basically like kind of like a reflection point, what the light would do on the surface. Um, it's set very metallic, so it's ready to make make it quite reflective. But we don't we don't want to reflect. As you can see there, that's a reflection that you're getting behind it. Um, so we're going to avoid that as well. So then if you want to start setting keyframes, just go up to rotation and boom, you can set the rotation on the Y axis to rotate your globe all around. So we can set a keyframe at zero out to 10 seconds, set a keyframe, you know, I'll say it makes two rotations and play it and voila, there you go. There's your rotating globe. And now you can use this to, you know, morph into other objects for your, uh, for your motion graphic or your animation. But that's just a real quick trick on how to uh, make a three-dimensional globe without having to actually have a three-dimensional layer. So thanks for watching.